I was gonna do another saddle vlog, but it's raining, so what we're gonna do is just a barn vlog, and I'm going to braid baby's mane. You guys have horses, or you just got a horse, and their mane is just really hard to deal with, or it's short and you're wanting to grow it out, the best way to do that is to braid it. So what you're gonna need is either a wide tooth comb or a wide tooth brush. Today I'm gonna use both. Um, I'm gonna comb through her mane with the brush and then I'm gonna do the braids with the comb. Um, you can get these little hair ties at, I got these ones at Walmart, but you can go to any tax store and they have um, rubber bands specifically made for horses' manes. And then if you have um, a horse that has a hard to manage mane or it's really tingly, this stuff works wonders. Cowboy magic. When I first got her, she had wind knots all through her mane and it was real choppy and uneven. And I braided up her mane with the Cowboy Magic, got it so nice that I could just comb right through it. And it actually helped her mane grow out. So my technique is I keep braids in her mane for a week and then I take them out for a week. And um, we just always wanna be careful and gentle with our horses, um, so always work from the bottom up. It's kind of like our hair. When we have tangles, we're not, you know, brushing our hair and getting it stuck in the knot. We brush a little bit, get those tangles out, brush up a little bit more, get those tangles out, and keep working our way up. And that's the same way we want to brush our horse's mane. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a couple of these rubber bands and I'm going to put them around my thumb, like so, without dropping any. And water's optional. I'm gonna use water, especially on the base of her mane, just so I can get those braids nice and tight and I don't have flyaways. She will end up having flyaways later on today, but as I get those braids in, I'm gonna get them nice <laughs> Excuse that. There's a horse literally behind the camera going pee. Um, so I'm going to get her braids nice and tight. Not super tight where it's, you know, causing her irritation, but just tight enough that those braids are going to stay in a lot longer. So I start from the end of her mane where her withers are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to part a little bit. And I'm going to stick my comb in her mane and push it out of the way. <laughs> and then I'm going to spray the bottom and then spray the top. Just enough so that it's barely damp. And then I'm going to braid. Once I get a nice... Oh. stand on my tippy toes for this one. And just make your braids tight enough so that they stay in. And braid as far down as you can. I'm sure her head's right in the way so you can't see. So that's as far as I'm going to get that one. And then I'm going to go ahead and tie it. We were going to ride, and then I got her all tacked up, and she, not she, it started to hail. So the rain wasn't as bad, and then it started to hail. What are you doing? You got an itch? Oh, yeah, right there. So we're going to wait out the rain. It sounds like it stopped. And now the sun is shining, of course, when <laughs> we're wanting to ride and the weather doesn't cooperate. Baby, what are you doing? Hey, knock it off.
I think she knows that the camera's on and she does not like being on camera. That's why I always use like the head mount on my helmet to videotape her because she doesn't know that it's on. Hey! Braiding does take quite a while, and if your horse doesn't really stand very well yet because they're young or they just don't like standing tied for a while, if you're good at braiding, um, sometimes it can go a lot quicker so that they're not getting super bored. Baby does know how to stand very well, and I think she's just getting bored because we were going to ride and so I had tapped her up and then I had to take her off her saddle um, because it started to hail and I thought I was going to have to leave. But we'll just braid her mane up since it's time for her to have her mane braided up.
product. If you guys want to get your horse's mane to grow longer and thicker and more beautiful, keep it braided for a week and then take it out for a week and then braid it for another week. That's how I got her mane to look this beautiful. It was all choppy and gross and since braiding it and unbraiding it and braiding it and unbraiding it, how, my, how I do my routine, it has grown so much. You can do to add a little bit more um, life to their mane is as you're braiding it, put a little bit of um, like leave-in conditioner and that will help it to grow nice and beautiful.